Hey everyone. It's been a while since I've done a Model 16 video. There's been quite a bit on the Coco lately and some other great stuff, but the Model 16 needs some love, and I promised early on that I'd do a lot of videos on the 16 because I think it needs more representation on YouTube. In keeping with that promise, tonight we're going to install Xenix 3.3. Uh, Xenix 3.3 was never officially released, uh, but was developed, and uh, by the time it got developed, of course Tandy was in the, if it ain't x86, it ain't a thing, uh, phase and so it just kind of died, but Frank Dirt of the Four had it as part of his collection and uh, after he sadly passed on and his collection began to spread around, it has ended up on Pete Satinsky's Model 2 archive. If you haven't checked out the Model 2 archive and you have a, what we call a big Tandy or an 8-inch floppy drive machine, that being the Model 2, 12, 16, 16B, or 6000, you should definitely check out the Model 2 archive. Just type Model 2 archive into Google, you'll find it. And I'll put a link in the description for this video. So anyway, um, Pete Satinsky has graciously put the Xenix 3.3 image up, and now I'm going to install it. So this is a Xenix 3.2 box, um, which I can show you. Xenix 3.2. So let's get back in. And you might have noticed earlier, I started with a clear screen. And Xenix, as far as I know, does not have a clear command. Um, if it does, I don't know it. Um, there are, you know, I could echo the clear code to the console, but I did actually write what I call, what I consider to be one of the stupidest programs I've ever written. And that is that it is a clear command, and the way that it works literally prints character code 14 to the console. Now, for the Model 16 console, this works. It may very well not work for any of your attached serial terminals, but whatever. Um, I'm pretty much using this, and it works for this. So, anyway, as an aside, let's get to installing. Okay, so to install this, I should just be able to run the Xenix install command. I've already mounted the floppy in my HXC emulator. I've converted it. Uh, HXC needs its own conversion, so I should just be able to run install. And when it prompts me for the disk, I should be able to just tell it that it's there. You may have no there we go, Xenix 3.3 system update, you may have noticed a glass of wine. If you've seen any of my videos, you know, get that out of the way of the screen, that I generally like to mix adult beverages with awesome Tandy computers, and I figured a fine machine like the Model 16 needed a fine red wine to go with it. Cheers. Mm. Sometimes I go with a nice fine scotch or another whiskey, but do you wish to install a new kernel? Yes. This installation will halt the system of collision. I am ready for that. Okay, I may use either the three-port SIO or four-port MUX boards, but not some of each. Which do you use? If you don't expect to get any cereal pipe, answer no. I do not want the Mux version, I know that. Okay, here we go. So Z80 control system halted. Normal system shut down. I'll give it a second. I found with the drum sometimes if I get a little quick on the uptake with the reset or power buttons, if whatever's on the way out to the SD card hasn't committed the machine will say it wasn't shut down properly, and this is the last time I want that to happen. So, I think we're good now. Here we go. I'm going to say no, I always do, because they've mucked with DST so many times that it's not even worth it. This thing isn't even close. Should be able to log in as me. Let's see what we got. And I have my fancy pants clear command in the path here, so that'll just kind of work. 
But anyway, um, that's pretty much it. I have not explored this. I do know do not know what's in it. I do know that it does have the ability for multiple virtual terminals, um, but I don't have a Tandy 2000 keyboard here with an alt key. So anyway, that is Xenix 3.3. Um, upgraded pretty easily on the Model 16 with the Tandy 6000 upgrade. Until next time, thanks for watching.